Legend of My Soccer Universe. <laughs> I decided to show another jersey from my collection. I know I have all English background, but I'm wearing a Roma jersey, so I decided let's show you mom my Bologna uh, jersey. Bologna, the original Macron team. I think the first team that Macron uh, ever equipped was Bologna. Not 100% but from what I, I can see they are doing it at least since 2001 being a brand from Bologna itself. So I think this makes it a perfect combination. This is the 1920 version of Bologna and I am tempted to say, although I looked now at a few uh, historical pictures, it's almost how I imagine a Bologna jersey. It's not the half and half look. I want to see uh, blue and red stripes. The blue, of course, originally was a lot uh, brighter, but uh, I think ever since I remember, it always had this dark blue and also the darkish red. Uh, kind of a Barcelona look. And in many ways, if I look at the crest of Barcelona and look at the shirt uh, of Bologna, the crest already is kind of this weird mixture between Barcelona and Milan. There's, you know, it has some similarities to both of these. The jersey colors also is somewhere between Barcelona and Milan. I always said the Bologna is kind of the love child between those two clubs, although there's hardly, there's no evidence to that. Actually, Bologna, I just read, was founded by an Austrian student uh, in 1909. So um, not 10 years after the Italian and Spanish giants, but uh, no relations there. Um, this particular jersey, I actually, I liked it. The, I, I really liked it a lot, even upon seeing it uh, the first the first time. Um, I find the Leo Joe sponsor, which is an Italian uh, fashion brand, really stylish. I have to say, it fits very nicely with the jersey. I find the this is what I call Barcelona striping. I find this really well done. I find the, even the sleeves that also have a little bit striping, it's wider, so it's only, you know, the bottom red on the top blue. Really, really well done. It's the new Macron logo, kind of uh, where this got a, you know, before it was more curved, now it's more straight uh, lines. Then on the inside label, um, this tag says, uh, Lo squadrone che tremare il mondo fa the squad that made the world shake which goes back to the most successful time of Bologna in the uh, late mid to late 30s when Bologna won a few uh, one two three uh, Serie A titles so yeah uh, that is where this come from why it, it exactly made the world shake I don't know um, these days this slogan seems a little bit uh overblown but okay i i actually i like it if they hark back to uh the um old times the successful times bologna hasn't won a championship since 64 and you know up until the 80s they were always kind of mid to high table and then they started the yo-yoing for most of the 80, of 80s they were in the second league even third and they repeated the same thing in the 90s now they've stabilized themselves, mostly a mid-table team, mid to lower table team in Serie A, sometimes Serie, uh, Serie B. What I want to also point out for this inner label here for the um, Bologna shirt isn't uh, the size here. I mean, I chose a double XL and then it gives you the uh, height for 190 to 195 centimeters, which means exactly my size. So uh, very happy about that. Always size up with Macron. Cannot repeat it often enough. Um, for me, the biggest feature of this crest, and you saw it in my unpacking video, is the holographic crest. I don't know what exactly it is. I think it's just a sequence of zeros and ones that's in there. But if I move this, you can see the white has a holographic feel to it, which I find so sweet and nice. I cannot tell you when I saw this the first, the first time, I was really really impressed by that it's uh, that's the most high quality um crest that i've ever seen on any jersey as for ventilation you know macron always has a very stretchy material as you can see i don't want to stretch it too much because i'm wor i'm a bit worried that the sponsor might break um we have side panels here that are slightly ventilated but nothing really big that stands out on the back 
actually the middle blue stripe is taken out to make space for name and number and there's of course another sponsor and it says here we are one of course i would love it if there was um uh, the stripe going through but honestly it actually doesn't look all that bad i think it actually looks uh quite nice i have to say it's a really nice jersey the corresponding away jersey is almost nicer is white with the red and blue sash which also is super but you know i got this one i think for 20 euros from sportspa this was one of the first uh jerseys i bought from him. i'm really happy because i never thought that i would be able to get a bologna jersey and bologna yes i like to collect my serie a teams i especially like to collect serie a teams from cities we have been to and i've been to bologna 99 so uh, i was quite happy to finally add this one this is part of my collecting is you know from every city that i've been to i would like to get a, a jersey of the preeminent sports so in italy gotta be bologna a uh, beautiful city by, by the way and most of the italian food that you like is probably coming from that region as well so yes i want to know what you think i mean they finished mid table in that one bologna i think are on a good course at the moment i sometimes wish that they could threaten a little bit more of course they were most famous to me when they had roberto Baccio in the 97 98 season that was just amazing when he played there thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more let me know what you think about this jersey if you by the way any chance have any memories attached to it and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye!